John here. Right in the middle of taking my lever action apart, I figured I'd, uh, I'd just go ahead and show y'all how to take the forearm and magazine tube assembly off. Uh, just in case you needed to do that but didn't want to watch an hour long video how to take the rest of it apart. Okay. Got your rifle. Got your screwdriver of appropriate size. Let's see here. I think it's this one. I think it was that one. First thing you want to do is you want to take off the screw right here in the very bottom. That's your magazine plug. And this screw, it also goes through the tube and fits in a little hole in the end of the barrel. And it just stabilizes the screw. So you want to I'm going to hold it with your finger and make sure that your um, end cap don't go flying across the room. Although, you know, that could be fun if that's your thing. Yeah. Alright. Magazine spring. Should be exceptionally long. Longer than you need. Pull that out. The reason you might want to do this is if you dropped your rifle in water. Or if you shoot it a lot or if it has never been cleaned a whole lot then you'll want to take this apart and clean it once in a while so you don't get gook in your magazine tube that'll cause your action to uh... well it won't cause it to bind up but what it can cause especially if you get oil in there or something it can cause your magazine uh... follower to not want to push the bullets out as fast as it should but uh... the next thing will be to loosen your band right here so you just take you a appropriate sized screwdriver let's see yeah, I think I like this one now I'm going to the other one can't decide what I want today And I don't recommend getting these real, real, real tight because you'll strip them out. Alright, you want to loosen the next one. But uh, snug. Of course, with anything, you got to keep an eye on it and make sure it doesn't uh, make sure it doesn't get too loose over time. Uh, I think the other one needs the other one. I try not to damage my screws. If I buy a gun, this gun was used, by the way. And some of the screws were a little worn. And I've took it apart a dozen, well, not a dozen times. Three or four times now. And if I booger any of the screws up, I'd rather take a file and take a burr off the screw than to leave a burr on it. But what you can do is, if you're a gunsmith and you really care, you can take your screw and uh, put it in a vise or um, put it in a, uh, a special little block that have threads on it and where your burr is you can take a punch like this and put right on that burr and tap it and drive that punch or drive that uh, little burr back over and make your screw head look right but unless I'm planning on trading the gun off I don't really care but uh, let's see the next step is to wiggle all the parts loose. You should be able to move your magazine tube out right now. And mine will. I've had it apart as soon as I bought the rifle, I took it apart and cleaned it. So, you got that. You want to make sure it's clean and uh, free of oil and grease inside. You're not going to be able to get this little band off because of your front sight unless your front sight's on the other side. But you will be able to get both the forearm and the other band off. Unless you have a uh, really large front sight. So, as an assembly, you can slide both of these forward. Usually pretty easy, like that. So you got your forearm, it slips right off, and usually you can just wiggle this off, like that. That's pretty much uh, how you do it. And uh, let's see, this looks okay. I was actually thinking about next time I had it apart, 
seeing about putting some wax on the inside in case that way I ever dropped it in water or something but I think I'm gonna leave it be oh I forgot to mention the uh, follower for your magazine tube or your magazine you can uh, before you dumped your pulled your tube out you could have tipped it up and just dumped it it'd come right out so, anyways I'll show you how to put it back you go like this do 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 helps if you make a little tune let's see Leave them on. Wipe a little rim oil on the outside of that tube, just cause I've been touching it. Let's see. On your tube, you'll have a little cut right there, and that's for the screw of your uh, barrel band. So make sure that is towards the barrel. And then, uh, you know, it's pretty much the reverse order. Put your follower back in. Uh, let's see here. I guess I want to go ahead and put the... Huh. Where did I put the... Oh, there it is. My bad. Almost lost it. Go ahead and put the barrel band screw back in. If I can get it to go you don't have your barrel band quite all the way on it'll the screw will ride against this little hump or not a hump it's a little uh, there's a little notch in your barrel and it'll just spin and that's what, what that one's doing and mine's got a habit of being loose when I tighten it so what I like to do is I'll push the forearm as far back as it'll go and I'll just kind of just tap that one a little bit just to get it go forward a little bit so when I snug it down it'll be it won't rattle because the forearm will rattle if you don't do that for some reason on mine I guess it was made on Wednesday or uh, on Monday and Friday instead of Wednesday I mean alrighty now you should put this screw back in first I reckon now to keep your magazine tube from sliding about. You can tell I'm not a professional. Oh, oh well. I can take my gun apart, I guess, and put it back together. That's better than some people. Come on, you long threaded rascal, you. We ain't got all day. And I just, I put that in, but I don't tighten it. I'll just snug it. So I make sure it'll be, uh, it won't be slightly off and it'll bind when I put that screw in. So, go ahead and push this back in. Just like this. And there's a difference in your, in your plug. One end of your hole will be open, the other end will be threaded. So you want to put the threaded end towards the bottom of the gun. Or not the bottom of the gun, the uh, towards the barrel. And you want to put the open end, or the end without threads, towards the lower portion of the gun. And you stick your screw back in. And you wiggle it until it finds its threads crap that'll put a scratch on her but as I said it was used and I don't really care anyway but try not to scratch it especially if it's somebody else's gun try darn hard if it's somebody else's gun and I like to snug this up pretty good because I don't want it falling off If any of the other screws come out, that might be okay, but 
that one comes out, it'll be a single shot. And I don't snug this one up too much. I just, what I like to do is I hold with two fingers. And I get as tight as I can get it with two fingers comfortably without, you know, breaking a finger or something. But anyways, that's how I do that part. Uh, maybe that'll help somebody out. Somebody didn't know how to do it. God bless you. Thanks for watching. This is John signing off.